like this. Bold is better. And as you'll see, bold means bearing it all. Inside this country home in Poway, a group gathers, five women, all risk takers, really. It's an adventure, it's different. Because through ceremony and reflection, they're expected to share. I'm the one who ended a long marriage. I'm the one who kept the house. Artist Pamela Underwood designed this workshop for women to grow. If they do come with inhibitions, this is a stretch that they want to take. This is a risk that they, that they decided they're ready for. In careful steps, they make a collage to prep their creative minds. And breathing, remember your breath as you work. Then they prep their bodies. <sighs> it's almost time to paint. But in Pamela's class, you don't need brushes. You don't need a smock. In fact, you don't need. a single stitch. They take their clothes off, put Vaseline on their body, and then print on newsprint in as many positions as they can. Nice print. That's Woo! a nice print. Once you get in the right place, then um, it's easy and it, it feels great. <laughs> Where do you need a press? But this is just practice. You know Slathered in acrylic paint or gooey gesso, they strike their favorite pose again, this time on canvas or black paper, and like human stamps, leave behind, pardon the pun, a body print. Oh, that's lovely. Woo! Pamela calls it body writing, a name she just had copyrighted. She discovered the process 12 years ago. As she experimented with her own prints, something disturbing began to happen. While I was printing, uh, I, would, I started having new insights into incest that I had in my life as a little girl until I, from the time I was born until I was 12 years old. She was molested by her grandfather. Pamela took her body writing and her story of incest on stage in San Diego in a one-woman play. You caught me by the arm. Externally, the quietness said, shh, no, it's our secret. I think any time you work creatively, it's healing because it's, it's what our soul needs. She's taught body writing ever since to women like Janet Clemento, who lost a breast to cancer, and Jane LaFazio, who's grateful she can walk after breaking her back as a teen. The women begin to feel like, you know, this body has really served me well, and um, they become more comfortable with it. Okay. Ah. Ooh! Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah! That's cool! I like the way the breast part worked, and I love the V here. That turned out really good. Uh -huh. I'm really curious about what's going to happen in the middle, in the next step. That's when they embellish their work, however they choose and the image comes to life. I'm surprised. I mean, I'm always surprised what happens. I had no idea that it was going to morph into a bird head. <laughs> I'm delighted with it. The experience really put me in a better place in my body. I love to teach. I love to help people. And I love to do art. It seems like all the bits and pieces throughout my life have all been for a purpose. And no letting modesty get in the way.